Hi everyone, so today we are doing a fall inspired lip color haul, haul and show. I'm gonna call that a yeah. haul and show. So uh, we'll just basically be showing you our different uh, lip colors and how much of a difference it makes on our lips depending on which color tone we have. So they're all gonna be more towards like the darker side. We also have some neutral shades, but it's more of a fall slash winter look. And um, surprisingly, we didn't plan this, but hers are all lip liners, so that gives you one option. And then mine are all lipsticks or lip stains, so that gives you two different options and ideas on what you can go for. So if you want to keep watching and see our own personal items that we use for our lips, then just keep watching. Okay, so my first lip color is the color... Oh my god. How do you say that? Aubergine? 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 By the brand Palladio. And so it is kind of like a... Kind of like a neutral shade if you have a darker lip. Uh, yeah. it showing. And here's the clip of me wearing it now. And it's just a really pretty lip color for the fall. And Okay, so my first one, I'm going to start off by lightest and then I'll transfer on to the darker tones. The first one is from Girlactic and it's their matte lip paint and it looks like this. And this is in the color Demure, Demure. And this is similar to the Velveteens from Lime Crime. They're very similar and I'll swatch it for you. It I think it's a little bit smoother when you apply it. It's glossy at first again, but when it dries, it is a matte finish. So, And this will dry matte, and here is me wearing it. So I think this is a great neutral color, um, it goes perfectly, I think it goes on very smoothly like I said and it dries completely matte so it's perfect for just an everyday wear if you don't want to do anything too drastic but it still has that hint of more darker toned nude color so it's good to get away with in the fall. Okay so my next color is by the same brand, the Palladio brand. I think it's a drugstore brand. I've never heard of it until I went to Ulta the other day and I saw it and I was intrigued because I saw lip liners and I'm all for lip liners right now. And this is in the color Suede and this is what it looks like. I know this camera is not really getting the details but it is Palladio in brown Suede. And this is me wearing it. There you go. Okay, so my next one is from Wet n Wild, and I used this in one of our tutorials, I believe. This is the number 908C Sugar Plum Berry, and it looks like this, and this is definitely more on the berry side, as you can take a look right now. And here's a closer look at it. It's the second one right here. As you can tell, it's definitely more on the berry side, so it's a little bit more pinky, plum, and just perfect for fall. And my next one is by Jordana Cosmetics. It is a lip liner in Sedona Red. Here it is. And then let me go ahead and swatch it for you. And here's a clip of me wearing it. This, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is more like of a holiday look where it's a holiday party, any holiday stuff, Christmas Eve, Christmas night, 
go for the Sedona red. Yes, very, very good. I love, love, love it. Okay, so my next one is Dark Side, and it is a by MAC, and it's this. And this is more of a glossy finish. And you can tell it's darker than this one, but it still has a bit of berry, but it's a little bit more darker. And I just think this complements everybody again as well. It's really complementary to lighter and darker skin tones. You can share it out as much as you want, or you can apply it as heavily as you want, as you can see right now in this clip. So again, it's MAC Dark Side. Alrighty, and my last one is by Jordana Cosmetics in the color Cabernet. It's the one I'm wearing right now. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. Just like this. So, this is what it looks like. And here is a clip of me wearing it right now. So don't forget Cabernet. This is a little on the dark side. I was a little scared of trying it myself. I don't really go for lips these dark, but if you can rock it, why not? Go ahead and do your thing. So my last and final one, it's Lime Crime Wicked. And you guys are probably tired of me talking about it. And again, it's a matte finish. It goes on very smooth and it goes on a little bit glossy. But it dries, correct? It dries completely matte. And it's this bottom color here. And here is a clip of me wearing this. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed all these lipsticks and lip liners that we brought to you. Um, and hopefully you try some of these out. Um, like I said, they can be used during the day and nighttime, especially now in the fall or winter. This is the perfect color. All of these colors are super complementary to lighter and darker skin tones. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this. And mine are very, very affordable, so go ahead and check them out. Mine are as high-end as hers, so, if you, so it turns out both ways. Like if you want something high-end, then go for hers, and if you want something like out of a drugstore, here are mine. So thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed our little lip video. Make sure to like and subscribe, please. We would really, really appreciate it. Tell your friends about us if you like us. If you don't, then don't tell anyone. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Bye. Mwah.